Hi, this is Congressman Warren Davidson speaking to you from my office on Capitol Hill. Here shortly, I'll be headed to the floor to vote on H.R. 3755, or as I refer to it, the Abortion on Demand Until Birth Act. So it would preempt all state laws, all local laws. It would make the federal law of the land expand Roe v. Wade so that women could have abortions uh, even while in labor. And look, health care would mean that the life of the baby would be protected even in birth, to the best of the doctor's ability. You would try to save both lives. You wouldn't willfully end one or the other. So a lot of times people hear me say, defend freedom. And some people say, oh, so now you're pro-choice. Of course I'm not. So what do I mean? Look, our founders got it right when they recognized that we are endowed by our creator with certain inalienable rights, that among them are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It begins with life. So whose freedom are we protecting? Whose freedom am I defending? The life of the unborn. They have a right to life. And that's what the science says. This is a life. From the moment of conception, it's a life. And as, it, as this baby grows in his or her mother's womb, it's increasingly obvious to anybody. As the baby grows in forms, you can hear a heartbeat. The baby can begin to feel pain. You can begin to feel the baby move. You can even visibly see the baby move. And then, of course, in the pangs of delivery and birth, uh, obviously, it's about to be a baby on the outside of the womb. One of the things that Republicans are going to offer as a motion to recommit or procedural change to the bill would be the Born Alive Survivors Protection Act. We have been unable to get Democrats to give us a vote on that for two Congresses now. And that would say if the baby uh, is born alive, i.e. no longer inside the mother's womb, in the labor and delivery room, you can't kill the baby. This is extremely rare, but it does happen. And Democrats said, oh, it's rare. So, so the rare cases that it would happen, uh, the life's not protecting, we're going to have a vote on that today. So if Democrats don't accept that motion to recommit, that'll tell you they fully embraced infanticide. It's an evil day. It's a sad day for me to know that this is even on the floor of the House, that Democrats believe they've got the votes for it. I'm praying for four good-willed people to just recognize this for what it is. We have to defend freedom, and that begins with defending life.